Hello from K-Fair. This is my seventh K-Fair. I've been uh, starting to go on the K with uh, dioxide pigments, titanium dioxide pigments, where I developed uh, tier 28, the pigment for uh, master batch, and later tier 48, high performance pigment for master batch. Uh, after that, I had a splash in colors with uh, the master batch company American uh, and sold colors to automotive interiors. Uh, carpet colors, synthetic turf, uh, monofill colors, uh, and uh, finally I changed to uh, carbon black, but not on the specialty side, uh, on the rubber side. So uh, the k wasn't uh, that relevant anymore, uh, but rather uh, tire tech uh, and uh, carbon black world. Let's have a walk around and let's see whether we can meet uh, some old friends. When I smell polymers and uh, when I see extruders, I feel right at home. We are here on the Mako Chem stand with uh, Jakob and Piotr. How are you guys? Very good. It's Thank okay. you. Okay. So what's new from uh, Mako Chem? I mean, we are continuing on the established path of having blends of RCB because this is what you are asking about, I guess. <laughs> uh, blends of RCB and uh, regular virgin carbon black. Uh, and we are quite successful in selling that to our customers. Uh, what's important, tire customers also. Uh, we are finishing uh, several approvals uh, and we look forward to next year because next year probably we will exceed 10,000 tons of blends sold. Wow, that's quite impressive. Thank you. Thank also with your help. That's <laughs> obvious. Thank you, Jakob. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good fair. Yeah, thank you. So do you. Thank, thank you. you. Hello. What's Hello. new from Azure? Oh, did you have a good? Have, did have you have a, a first good day? We have a new partner. The new partner is Mr. Walrasdorf. Um, <laughs> that's the news uh, of the day. <laughs> that's the news of the day, and uh, we stay here in the in in, in the fair car 22 in Düsseldorf, and our place is in the uh, rubber street. The halls eight. A and B are where the pigment manufacturers are, carbon black manufacturers and the uh, master batches. This is where I used to be with uh, dioxide for titanium dioxide. And this is uh, where today I watched the uh, presentation of Joe Hallett at uh, Billa Carbon. So I'm here on the Finster Carbon booth with Bushan. Hi. Bushan, how are you? How was the first day for you? I'm good. Uh, first day, uh, we expected a lot of people, but uh, not many footfalls. So uh, probably around 15, 20 uh, clients till now. Oh, you got seven more days, right? Yes, yes. we got seven more days. So hopefully, uh, yes. in the next coming days, we'll expect a uh, lot of people from different parts of the world. So you're producing about 24,000 tons of carbon, is that right? Yeah, so we produce around 25,000 metric tons per annum. Mm. So, and uh, we have carbon black in powder as well as in granules form. Mm. So, uh, we are planning to expand the capacity by 10,000 metric tons in the coming years, maybe in, in by next year. Wow, that's great. So, we'll have double the capacity. Mm. And uh, you have master batch samples. Obviously, you work with the plastics industry. Yeah. So, most of our carbon black goes to the master batch manufacturers mm. as well as to the rubber and non tire application. Mm. And also, we do produce uh, black master batch uh, uh, with Yourself. our carbon black. Yeah. So, by using all our carbon blacks and uh, for different applications like water tanks, injection molding, blow molding, rotor molding, extrusion applications. So, yeah, so we are, you know, we make only black. So, the black master batch and carbon black. So, it's a I like black. black. <laughs> I like black. And so, that's why the if you see the new logo, which is called It's the New Black. It's a new yeah, black. A new Absolutely. Black. I yeah. agree with you. Thank you, Bushan. Thank you. So I'm wrapping up my first day on the uh, Cape Fair 2022. I had good meetings and uh, now I'm heading for a nice uh, dinner with a uh, client. Hello. 
So I made it to the fair. Today the traffic was really incredible. Uh, I wonder why everybody needs to go to the fair by uh, car. That was the same uh, as on the Ecolomondo in uh, Italy. A huge traffic jam. Uh, everybody working on sustainability and still everybody uh, working, uh, coming in with the car. Uh, I think that could be uh, certainly improved. I have uh, hopefully my meeting in a couple of minutes. Okay, it's the second day and I'm here with uh, Stefan Krieger from uh, Nesta. Hello, Stefan. Hey, hey, good morning. So we are talking about sustainable feedstocks. Where is Nesta with uh, sustainable feedstocks uh, nowadays? Yeah, we're working hard on uh, plastic pyrolysis oil. So uh, scaling up uh, every month a little bit more. So um, we, we met because uh, I just wanted to uh, update myself. What's the status of uh, recycled uh, carbon black and, and also how about the powerless uh, oil from tires. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's an ongoing story. I'm working on it, as I told you. And, but we hope that by 24, maybe 25, there will be more volumes of both recovered carbon black and uh, tire pyrolysis oil. And I'm sure uh, these kind of volumes will be uh, of interest to, to Nested. What, what is the, um, the treatment volume in tons Nested does per year? At the moment, uh, too less because capacities are not yet there. But uh, I think it's the same as with tire uh, pyrolysis. Um, capacities are building up, and uh, I think 2023, 20, 24, and 25, we will see uh, high volumes coming onto the market. I meant, what is the total capacity of Nesta production? So, at the moment, we, we have uh, processed 800 tons uh, yet, but uh, there is much more coming up. We could do also much more. Um, but Nesta has more capacity than 800 tons. The total output we, of Nesta. For, for pyrolysis oil? No, total output. Oh, that's several million tons. I think it was million. 15 million tons in wow. regards of uh, uh, fossil feedstock. But we, of course, are also um, the, the leader of uh, renewable diesel. So renewable feedstock is, uh, is at the moment building up to 5 million tons. Wow, so, um, that's, that's quite impressive. Next next year we are scaling up a Rotterdam facility we finished a Singapore facility and uh, there's uh, another 1 million tons coming up in in the US quite so impressive we are, we are getting uh, now really global quite impressive thank you Stefan thanks I'm not talking to a tire maker but on the trade fair meetings are always delayed because everybody is somewhere else than planned so uh, hopefully uh, I'll have my meeting with a Japanese tire maker quite soon. Okay, I'm in Hall 7 on the stand of uh, Arius Polychem with Mr. Patel. Nice meeting you. Same here. How is the fair? Fair is good. Uh, yesterday was very good. We found uh, lots of visitors in our stall. Today afternoon also is good morning there were uh, two or three meetings in up uh, morning also excellent yeah you're a black master batch specialist yes w what polymers do you do in black uh we do with the pe F full range yeah full range we mm. do with the pe we do the pp we do with the mm. uh poly polycarbonate these are the all uh, polymer carriers I, we i like do. that yeah any any recovered carbon black in there already uh, yes, yes, we are uh, specialists to uh, disperse recover carbon black. Fantastic. That's, uh, I, I like we, that. We, we have expertise to uh, process the recover carbon black and we do that with the very uh, uh, proud. I like that. What, what is your total production volume of uh, Our capacity is uh, almost 1000 plus metric ton per month mm. and we are utilizing 75 percentage of you have a total capacity right now. That's good. Yeah. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Pato. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm in Hall 7 together with Chris from CarbonX. Hi, Martin. Nice. Welcome that you're here. How is the cave here for you? 
It's been very nice. Uh, a lot of people uh, coming by. Uh, lots of stuff for plastics mm -hmm. and also for uh, for rubbers. And so, I can see the tire there. Exactly. Yeah. So this is uh, the newest uh, development that we also showed at. Uh, at the Tire Tech Expo, where and you were as well. Yes. So uh, yeah, we made this uh, in collaboration with uh, with Kreiberg mm -hmm. and uh, Hinghaus to show uh, how easy it is to actually use Carbon X in the tread of the tire. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. And we, uh, yeah, the performance uh, shows. So we have a very low uh, rolling resistance uh, compared to uh, regular Carbon Black. So um, can you compare it at all uh, to a certain ASTM grade, or is it a, a really um, a product of its own? Yeah, it's definitely like, a like product silica. of its own. Yeah. So uh, we are actually uh, replacing uh, some of the silica in the recipe too. Mm. So um, yeah, outperforming silica in that sense, even in, in rolling resistance and grip. Wow. And and breaking the magical triangle. Breaking the magical triangle, as you said. Yeah. You, wow. You remember? Uh, <laughs> Super impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Have a good fair. Thanks. You too. Okay, we are here in Hall 8A on the stand of Delta Technique with uh, the Managing Director, Eric. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? What's new from Delta Technique? Yes, we are very happy to be here at Delta Technique. We have several new uh, technologies that we are presenting. Uh, one is uh, some uh, additives and uh, master batches that facilitate the recyclability of PVC. That's one side. Then we have developed uh, new compounds that facilitate electrical shielding uh, for electric magnetic uh, compatibility of products. Then we have a new set of products that are designed for the profile industry. And then last but not least, we have new colors for the calendaring industry. So those are the four value propositions that we're presenting this year at the K-Show. Wow, quite impressive. How has the fair been uh, for you? Day two now? Look, it's going uh, quite good. We had, even the first day, much more meaningful meetings than expected. We were expecting a certain slowdown and we were positively surprised. Uh, many meaningful meetings in the first day and today we are not stopping. We almost had no time for even to have some lunch. So Wow, impressive. Quite busy. You have six more days, right? <laughs> Thank yeah, you, Eric. Just starting. Hello Sven, nice uh, to see you back in uh, Carbon Black. Hello Martin, <laughs> thanks. So yeah. um, what, what, what do you do uh, right now uh, with Carbon Black? Yeah, I'm back in the Carbon Black industry more or less. I'm working for a transport company, one of the biggest ones um, delivering Carbon Black in, in bike silo trucks. Wow, oh. yeah. that's impressive. Uh, I heard you have uh, quite a high number of trucks. Yes, it's uh, about 300 trailers just mm. dedicated to carbon yeah. black transports um, in Germany, in Hungary and then also in France. And have you tried uh, recovered carbon black yet? Not yet, but we are very interested in the developments which mm. are being made at the moment and we would be very thankful if we could have um, the opportunity to also test this one because uh, we think that this is part of the, of the future. Wow, yes, maybe I can help you. Uh, that would be a pleasure. Yeah, it would be yes. great because I know that you are in the business and it would be really great to, to stay in touch and to get forward into this. Absolutely. Thank you, Sven. Have a good fair. Thank you. Same to you. Bye bye. I, I've just uh, seen an old friend, Rudy. Hello. Uh, Rudy, where, where did we meet first? We meet first, uh, I think it was nearly 20 years ago at uh, Gabriel Chemie in yes. Austria uh, when we made business together, uh, you as a salesman and uh, I as a purchase manager. What, what was I selling? You were selling ti uh, titanium dioxide and, and black master badge. A uh, black master badge? Uh, no. Carbon. Uh, black carbon black wasn't no no it was only titanium dioxide only titanium uh, dioxide, only titanium oh, dioxide. Oh, oh, yes, oh. yes 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 bad memory uh, yes and and then you moved on from master batch to then i moved on to uh polymers uh, working for borealis uh, for nearly 10 years and after that i changed to dangerous goods transport packaging mm. 
what I do now uh, with my own business, running a, a consultancy, engineering consultancy for dangerous goods packaging and dangerous goods logistics. Wow, that, that's quite quite impressive. Yeah, but I, uh, nearly as impressive as your uh, career after we met at uh, Gabriel Chemie. <laughs> yes, uh, going from uh, being a white angel to a black uh, carbon devil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. Thank have a, you, Martin. Have a very good fair. Thank you. Same to you. I'm concluding my visit to the K Fair 2022. In the end, two days were not enough for all the meetings. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't meet all the people I wanted to meet, but I had really nice meetings, and uh, so uh, it was nice to uh, reconnect with the plastics industry meet with some uh, carbon black people and recovered carbon black people, tire maker uh, and you know meet uh, old friends uh, all along. It was a great visit. Greets from Düsseldorf. Mm -hmm.